Hello and welcome back, my lovely little juice sippers, to our next deep dive all things related to Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. <laughs> and you don't have to worry, it's nothing about Denise Richards. So, have you heard the latest tea that's got everyone talking? So, Kyle Richards, one of our favorite Real Housewives of Beverly Hills divas, has just dropped an insane revelation. She sort of confirmed that, yes, she and Morgan Wade are dating. I mean, talk about a power couple, am I right? But Kyle isn't even divorced yet. It's kind of like we're being let in on a little secret. Honestly, we live for this, when celebs open up about their love lives. So what do you all think about this pairing? Are they the ultimate duo or what? <laughs> so what actually went down? Let's find out. So basically, Kyle just got a new tattoo that's got everyone talking. It's a super cute cowboy hat and it's right in the middle of her arm. Like, can you say trendy? So this little piece of ink made its debut on tattoo artist Amanda Mercat's Instagram and Kyle was quick to share it on her story. Like, we all all know she's not shy about showing off her love for hats. Kimosabi got us all traumatized. <laughs> Remember that time she and her daughters met Rihanna there while shopping for some western gear in Aspen? Yeah, so clearly she has a thing for hats. But today, it's not really about the hats, is it? So like, okay, get this. During the last season of Real Housewives on Beverly Hills, Kyle and Morgan were seen hitting up a tattoo shop together. Kyle got this Saturn tattoo on her hip, and she even inked a K on Morgan's arm. So we finally know how Morgan came to that tattoo. And I mean, if that's not a sign of something special, I don't know what is. And the real tea hasn't even been spilled yet. Okay, so now amidst all this tattoo drama, Kyle and Dory, once the best of friends, are drifting apart. Like big time drifting. Dory isn't very happy with the new Kyle. Mm hmm. Season 13 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills has obviously been a roller coaster for Kyle, with literally everyone raising their eyebrows at her life changes. She's been hitting the gym nonstop, getting inked, having this younger girlfriend around her, and just, you know, switching things up. Dory, being the observant friend that she is, couldn't help but say a lot about Kyle at the reunion. She's like, Kyle, what's up with all the workouts and tattoos? You've changed, girl. And just by the way, Dory was totally surprised by Kyle's move of tattooing a K on more Morgan's arm. She's like, my husband has my name on his arm, but Kyle, what are you doing? It's like she's questioning how tight Kyle and Morgan really are. At this point, I'd almost be laughing, but Dorit is actually calling them out. And Teddy Mellencamp, Kyle's other bestie, spilled even more tea on her podcast. She said that the K tattoo was supposed to be a joke, but now it's turned into something way bigger. I don't know who to believe, really, but it does feel like Teddy is just covering up for Kyle. Like, getting someone's initials tattooed on you as a joke is just kind of too much. Now, I feel like Dorit is saying all this because she's jealous of Morgan. And you might wonder why I think that. But Doreen spilled some major tea on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Apparently, she's feeling like Kyle replaced her with Morgan, and it's got her feeling all kinds of ways. From Dorit's perspective, it's like one minute you're BFFs, and the next, you're on the sidelines. Kyle did try to play it cool on Sirius XM's Jeff Lewis Live, saying her friendship with Dorit is just different than the one with Morgan, but deep down, you can tell she's hurt. She's like, I love Dorit, but she's not my ride or die, you know? I, for one, think she has certainly replaced Dorit with Morgan, at least on a friendship level. Still asking myself how deep Kyle and Morgan's friendship goes. At this point, I feel like Kyle is just gaslighting all of us. But can you blame her? After all, rumors are suggesting that Dorit and Mauricio, Kyle's husband, were having an affair. Besides, Kyle falling for Morgan, if those rumors were true, can you imagine staying loyal to someone doing that to you and your family? Ugh. But this could also explain Dorit's marriage problems with PK. Do you know what I mean? But never mind that, let's dig further. You know, at the part one reunion, Dory tried to explain that she stayed out of Kyle's family drama out of respect, but Kyle wasn't having it. She expected Dory to jump into the drama, which is a bit rich considering how Kyle usually wants to keep her sister's issues private. It's like she's offended that Dory doesn't want to be involved in her family drama. Like what? Imagine Kyle also accused Dory of just following what the audience thinks, pointing to a moment at BravoCon 2023 when Dory didn't defend Teddy Mellencamp against a rude comment. Cal thinks this proves Dory just goes with the flow. Of course, at the reunion, Dory was hurt by a headline saying her friendship with Kyle was exaggerated. Cal admitted that she said those things because Dory didn't back her up in the conflict with Kathy. But when Dory suggested Kyle take some responsibility, Kyle shut her down pretty fast. Pretty rude, if you ask me. 
Honestly, Kyle's always been pretty chill when it comes to family drama, but her reaction to Dory was different. It's like Kyle's used to playing the victim, whether it's with Lisa Vanderpump, her sister Kim, or Kathy, she loves the comfort and support, but Dory's not playing that game and is causing a rift between them. And you know, Dorit also spilled the beans at the season 13 reunion, revealing that Kyle sent her a super long text message basically asking her to keep their issues on the down low. And Dorit thinks this was Kyle's way of trying to silence her before filming. Um, say what? Kyle, on the other hand, is feeling all kinds of shocked and betrayed. She opened up on an Amazon Live, saying she needs some time to forgive Dorit for airing out their private conversation. The two have been through a lot this season, with Dorit bringing up Kyle's marriage issues on camera and making comments about Kyle's friendship with Morgan Wade. Kyle's accusing Dorit of making her life harder with the media, especially with all the rumors swirling around about her and Morgan. Honestly though, Kyle has this way of turning things around, making us question what we think we know. It's classic gaslighting, and it seems like she's at it again. Remember the whole thing with Mauricio, where we all knew they were having issues? The rumors were flying and Kyle was all, nope, you're all seeing things, making everyone second guess themselves. And now with Morgan Wade in the picture, it feels like deja vu. Kyle's trying to downplay everything, suggesting it's all just a big misunderstanding over a friendship. But after that tattoo reveal, it's like, come on, how can we not wonder what's really going on? And let's not overlook the Dorit drama. It's almost too convenient, isn't it? By stirring up all this fuss with Dorit, everyone's eyes are on that drama, which could be diverting attention from the Morgan situation. Kyle's like, oh, I'm so hurt by the leaked text, but is it a strategic move to keep us all guessing and talking about something else? I think it might be. Honestly, it feels like Kyle knows exactly what she's doing. She's a pro at this by now. The whole Morgan, Kyle are just friends narrative is getting harder to buy, especially with everything that's come to light. And with the tattoo thing, yeah, no way are they just friends. And you know, things just keep getting more interesting with Kyle and Morgan. Rumors about her and Morgan started swirling as soon as she split with Mauricio. That says something, right? Morgan's trying to brush it off, saying that they're just friends and that people on the internet are making a big deal out of nothing. They even teamed up on Morgan's music video, Fall in Love With Me, to poke fun at all the gossip. But let's be real, the chemistry in that video was just insane. It's hard to believe there's nothing more going on when you see them together like that. And then there's Kyle saying she's open to dating a woman. She claims it was partly for shock value, but also because she's re-evaluating her beliefs and not ruling anything out. At this point, Kyle's keeping us guessing with her every move and Morgan's playing it cool, but the chemistry between them is hard to ignore. You know, both of them were spotted getting cozy at Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen too. Kyle was looking fabulous in her black midi dress and Morgan was all stylish in her black blazer and trousers, but it's that little moment of affection that's got everyone talking. Morgan was seen gently caressing Kyle's lower back and just, what? Imagine, I mean, it's not every day you see friends getting touchy-feely like that, right? People are commenting saying things like they don't rub their friend's hips for affection and that it's not normal to hold a friend's hip like that. Kyle didn't seem to mind the gesture, so maybe it's just their way of showing friendship? Or could it be something more? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I just want the two of them to come out and say it. I'm happy for them, believe me, I just want honesty. That's it for today's video. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for all the Real Housewives tea and drama. See you next time.